All right, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video than my normal videos. I gotta do a whole bunch of work before October, first of October, so, and I need to do a whole bunch of work just before snow flies in general because winter's coming. So, I picked up some new toys because why not give myself more stuff to do? Got myself a nice little John Deere. Got a mower, rototiller, gonna be awesome. I got this thing, which why do I need a board that for highways? Why not? No, it's gonna, I'm gonna put a generator on the front here, solar panels on the roof, take off the, the lights, put a battery on there. That's a project for another day, but there it is. I'm um, gonna have to work on the mega truck because, well, I broke it, haven't even touched it since. So I'm gonna fix that so it's running and driving again. I'm um, gonna check out the, the Outlander because the Outlander needs to be ready and I, for the beater race, I got my um, R6 rally car. Maybe I'm gonna switch it up and said, I don't know. All gonna be in this video, so keep watching. Oh, I forgot this thing. So, picked up this, I think it's a 52 Chevy green truck. This thing is awesome. Like, seriously. gauges and everything like this fairly complete aside from not having a seat like it's it's pretty legit anywho we're gonna see if this thing starts hopefully this episode so if you're interested in that keep watching all right so the transmission seems to be locked in neutral i can't get to it when it's running i can't I don't know, it doesn't just go into neutral. When it wants to go into drive, it just wants to drive or reverse right away, so it doesn't want to fully go into that. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. All right, so something unlocked with it, and I was able to get it into neutral. Now I can get it into drive and reverse, but the second I hit the brake, that jumps into neutral. I can't actually stop it when it's in gear. All right, so I have a predicament for uh, Austin Cruiser $500 beater race. I originally picked up this RSX for the beater race and I was gonna run it. For some reason it's in limp mode. Haven't really figured that one out yet. Can't really go above 4,500 RPM. So, oh, I don't know. I was gonna race it, but I mean, if I can't hit VTEC, what's the point? Um, but then I picked up this guy, the Grand Prix. Now, this would be an all right beater. I mean, it has the 3800 V6. So I don't know what to do. Do I run this? Because obviously, I mean, the body's not great. It's not gonna be a street vehicle. I originally bought it just for like the engine and some parts. But should I race that or the RSX? Meanwhile, my deer is running away from me. All right, let me know in the comments. Okay guys, apparently I'm an idiot. So apparently this is how you drive it. That's it, that's it's throttle. This is way different than what I'm used to. Okay, I think it's fixed, because it was never broken. All right, we're finally getting to the grain truck today. Got the zombie Jeep hooked up to the grain truck into the battery, poured some fuel down the carb. Let's see if it does anything. Ready? Not ready? The ignition is cold. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the wrong key or ignitions for those, I don't know which. Well, the key was already in here, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, sure it doesn't have any kind of security though. No, probably not. It's not a chip key? Yeah, it might be. We should have checked that. No, it's not turning. Alright, I guess that's that. So, the cylinder, either the wrong key or it's locked up, so we're not going to be able to try to start it this weekend because, well, let's be honest, i got a whole bunch of other things I need to do, but we will be revisiting this project in another video, so keep an eye out that, like and subscribe. Um, 
All right, let's get to the mega truck. All right, so at FRCC, I ended up losing the drive shaft because the U joint decided to just, I don't know if it's so much broke, but definitely just twisted right out. So, got some new U joints. I was gonna put a new one in the front too, but that one, that one actually feels pretty good. So we're gonna replace that U joint, get the drive shaft back in. Another thing we noticed was the plastic can, it's done. I have this old can kicking around, so probably gonna hook that up into there instead and then take it for a rip. Okay, so minor issue with the uh, drive shaft. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like bent down right there because it was swinging wildly when it let go. The other side is just the same. The, ski the clips aren't even in there anymore. So, I'm gonna grind down that side because this is never gonna be street legal, let's be honest here. So, I'm not gonna go fast speeds. Grind that down, pop that out, cap out. I'm gonna leave that side, so that's gonna be a stopper. And then I'll just give her a... Uh, you know, a little bit of a weld on, a little tack weld on each side so they don't come out. When that fails, you cut the damn thing in half. Okay, so I ground everything down, got the U-joint cut out. Turns out the U-joint that I bought for it is the wrong size because obviously I don't know what year or anything that the chassis is. So it was too small. Anyways, did not get that done. So I'm not gonna be able to get the mega truck done this weekend but I will get back to it, so look forward to that. And then Outlander, I got started on the trailing arm, been having issues getting the old bearings out because they just break apart and the races are stuck in it. So gotta work a little harder at that, but we will get her all done. We will get everything ready and we'll watch out for the next video.